you guys, Waterfaller41 here, and in today's video, we are going to be installing the last tunnel cover ever on my 2020 Ram Rebel truck. I say that because this is by far one of the nicest tunnel covers I've ever seen, and I am super stoked to get this bad boy installed on the truck. So, why am I replacing my tunnel cover? Um, I like the last one. However, one of the issues I ran into was that tunnel cover, it was a hard folding one, and if you remember, it folded up and left a third of the bed still covered because the tunnel cover itself wouldn't fold up against the cab. I didn't think that was gonna be a huge issue until uh, my kids started riding their four wheelers a lot more and wanting to take it up to the lake house and whatnot. And the issue I ran into is I could only move those four wheelers so far forward on the in the bed of the truck until they would hit the front of that tunnel cover. And I know I could remove that tunnel cover, but when I got to my destination, I kind of wanted to have the ability to have a dry bed. So we are gonna replace that with a tunnel cover that folds up against the cab and one that looks a thousand times better. Enter the Lomax Stance Hard Folding Tunnel Cover. So this is made by the same company that made my bed rack. So you remember uh, a few videos back, I installed the Adirac Pro Series bed rack. So AgriCover makes the Adirac bed rack and they make the Lomax Stance Hard Cover. So this comes in two colors or two finishes. One, a urethane black finish. And then the other one is a diamond plate mist finish. So I went with the urethane so let's flip this guy over gently. Ugh. All right. And that finish is awesome. It's almost like the texture of a bed liner. It's slippery enough that stuff's not gonna stick to it and it's gonna be easy to wash off, but it has a nice, durable, rugged look. Also, the cover itself is aluminum, which is gonna be awesome during hail season. So that is the bed cover that we're gonna be installing. And let's take a look at the parts. So first and foremost, it's a hard folding cover, which means we're gonna have to install that on the inside of the rails. So you get a set of rails. You got a driver's side and you have your passenger side rail. You know this is the driver's side because you want these clips towards the front, the bulkhead of the truck, and the two rails are both different. And the rails come with some pre-installed weather stripping so that when you are installing them up against the inside rail of your truck, you're not gonna scratch anything. They use four clips, so you come with, you get four clips per side. Now be mindful, if you look at the shape of the clips, you got a deep side on one, and then you got a shallow on the other side. We'll talk about that in a minute as to why that might uh, come into play here because you have some options, and it really depends on how well these guys sit on the inside of your bed rail. This is a straight up and down. I don't think we're gonna have any issues, but some of the bed rails on the newer trucks are tapered, and you need to get kind of creative with how you use this guy. So sometimes you might have to flip one side of it. But again, you get four clamps per side. Then we get, the attachment points. So these points um, are double stick tape, but they're also magnet. So you can see that they're magnet based there. These will go up on the cab of the truck. So when we fold up our tunnel cover, we have a place to attach it to. That way that the tunnel cover will stay in the 90 degree position so we get access to entire bed without having to take the tunnel cover itself off. So super simple. Install the rails with the clamps. Install this guy drop the tunnel cover on it, and then adjust these where they're at, and then we're good to go. As far as tools, um, you obviously need a half inch socket because you wanna be able to tighten these guys. And then because this is, I'm losing track of how many tunnel covers I have installed, uh, but because I'm installing this myself, I'm gonna use these clamps, and these are helpful for when you're laying that rail up against the inside bed rail. So you can go ahead and just temporarily clamp one side here while you're tightening the front of it, and then it's easier to manipulate everything into place because ultimately what you wanna do is make sure that that rail is nice and flush with the top of the bedside so the tunnel cover itself sits nicely. The last thing I did is because I keep these, my Pro Series bed rails on the truck at all times, while I might not necessarily have the uprights on, I went ahead and loosened this up because this tunnel cover is gonna be a different width and I wanna be able to adjust the rails here so I can account for the new width of the new tunnel cover. Lastly, but not least, because of the finish that I got in here, AgriCover recommends picking up their cover care cleaner and then hitting it every couple of months with this cleaner just to keep things nice and healthy and from drying out. So let's get everything situated and we'll start with installing that driver's side rail there. But again, super simple. We're just gonna install these four. Uh, there's, a, there's a method to how you should be installing these things. We'll knock out the other side. We'll get that tunnel cover dropped in on top of the rails and then Last but not least, we'll mount these guys so that when we fold this thing up, it'll stick up on the top of the cab. And then, like I said, you, you leave these on top of your cab. So there's double stick tape plus a magnet to make sure that you can locate these things properly. 
you get a wet wipe so you can wipe off the area. We'll use some isopropyl alcohol just to clean everything up. And then you get a wax pencil just to help you mark with where these need to go. Now I did notice that this is a white wax pencil. This is a white truck. So I probably won't be able to see this all too well, but we can use a piece of masking tape to knock it out as well. All right, so we're gonna start with the driver's side rail by installing that guy. So first of all, you wanna make sure you have the right rail. The, these little brackets here that are bolted to the rail itself, they're gonna go closer to the bulkhead. So you got two different size rails, two different orientations, but ultimately they both have this guy. You wanna make sure you grab the right rail. Then you wanna make sure that you're mounting the right side of the rail to the bed rail. So the inside of the tunnel cover track has weather stripping on it. That weather stripping is ultimately gonna be what touches the inside of your bed rail. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the track itself and we're gonna make sure that it's actually it's flat with the top of the bedside. I'm trying to do this one-handed. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the bracket or the track itself is touching the bulkhead. So you wanna push it as far forward as you can. Uh, if you don't have a painted or lined tunnel uh, bed, maybe back it off a little bit so you don't wear away on the paint, but you want it as close as you can get it to the front of the, the truck bed because these things are cut to fit the length of the bed and it's a very close fit in the end. You wanna make sure that you have that guy as far forward as you can possibly put it. Then we're gonna go ahead and take our four brackets and we're gonna install these guys. And essentially what we're gonna do is put one as far forward as we can put one as far backwards as we can, and then we're gonna split the difference. Put one maybe about there, and then maybe one right about here. So let's get the camera over on the tripod and get our ratchet and everything ready to go and get this guy uh, in place. This is where those clamps come in nice and handy. So like I said, I'm doing this by myself, so I'll basically take the clamp, put it on the rear of the track, that way it holds it in place, but still gives you the ability to adjust it. So then we can start here and just kind of keep adding the brackets as we go towards the rear. Again, as we go, we wanna make sure that the top of the track is even with the top of the bed rail side. So let's get everything situated and we'll start installing this guy. All right, so we have the tunnel cover track loosely installed here. We have our yellow clamp holding it at the end there and it's basically just pushed up against the bulkhead. That's what's keeping it in place. We wanna make sure that the top of the rail is nice and flush with the top of the bed side. And then we wanna make sure that when we go to install the clamps here, we're installing them in the right orientation. So you have a deep side and then you have a shallow side you wanna make sure that the shallow side is towards the inside of the bed. So when it goes and clips up into the, rack, the, the track itself, it's gonna clip up that way. So there are little ribs in there. You wanna make sure that you catch some of them with the teeth on both the top and the bottom of that clamp. And then install. So you wanna make sure that that front clamp is as far forward as you can get it. So we're not gonna put it too tight. We're just gonna put it loosely in there. That way we can make adjustments. But now the next thing we're gonna do is install the other three clamps. And basically what you wanna do is go a third of the way, a third of the way, and then that last clamp is gonna be as far to the back of the trail, uh, the track itself. So we're gonna install probably one right about here. We're gonna install one right about here, and then we're gonna install that rear one. It's as simple as that. So you repeat that on both sides, and then we'll get to dropping the tunnel cover on here. And then from there, it's tightening a few things down and installing the clips that go up on top of the truck. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do now that we have the uh, the tracks on both sides installed and we know they're installed correctly because A, the top of the track itself is flush at the top of the bed side and B, the track inside edge is parallel to the truck bed. So now what we're gonna do is drop the tunnel cover itself on the tracks. So this is the portion that goes on the bulkhead. So this little flap here is what's gonna overlay on the front of the truck bed. Then you have these spring-loaded clips here. So you got one on both sides. And what's gonna happen with that is that clip is gonna line up with this opening right here on both sides. And if you line up that guy, it will make sure that your tunnel cover is spaced the right distance on the bulkhead. So that little flap will basically sit up on top of here and then we can bolt that down. So let's carefully lift that guy up into the bed and I will get him put on the track here and then we could, I'll show you how everything attaches, but it's pretty much smooth sailing from here on out. Okay, so now that we have the tunnel cover up in the bed itself, we're gonna go ahead and drop this guy on the track. 
And again, what we want to do is make sure that we have, let's see, there's spring-loaded clips at the end. We want to make sure that those guys line up on both sides and drop right into this channel. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge by myself. So if you have a friend that can help you, by all means do that because that will be handy. So what I'm going to do is basically just lay it on the tracks and then I'll push it slowly towards the front of the bed. And then hopefully I can get it lined up with this guy and drop it in. So let's do that. Well, I'm not hitting my head on the garage door. Okay, so we have the tunnel cover itself dropped in. So like I said, you wanted to line up those spring-loaded clips right in that clip or right in that little spot there between the brackets. That way the tunnel cover doesn't slide forward or back and that will position everything where you need it. Now the next thing we're gonna do is slip up underneath and there is some front brackets and front slides that we need to move over so the tunnel cover itself attaches better to the rail instead of just relying on this guy here. But you got one on this side and then you have one on the other side as well. I am winded because that was a heavy tunnel cover, but almost done here. So we're just going to use our janky bed lights here to light up everything in there. But let's go up underneath here and I'll show you how you attach the front section of the tunnel cover to the bed rails. All right, now that we have the tunnel cover clipped into place, then the last thing we need to do before we could unfold this beast is we need to move this little sliding clamp here over and around the track itself. So there is a lip here and this is gonna slip underneath the track. And this is what holds the front side of the tunnel cover to the bed rail track, I guess, and keeps everything situated. So this is gonna take two hands because I'm gonna have to reach around and push this section down while pushing this section up. So I could basically uh, clear this because there's a seal that you're gonna be fighting with. But once you guys, once you get this on the track, you're gonna tighten it down and that'll hold the tunnel cover in place. You're gonna repeat it on the other side. Then we will unfold the tunnel cover itself, make sure everything's adjusted and in the right spot. And then I will show you how to mount the top of the cab brackets so we can fold this guy up and drive with the full bed access uh, portion of the cover. All right, so both of the front bulkhead sections are bolted down pretty tightly. Now you do need to be mindful, you do have a seal here and you just wanna make sure that you run your finger here and pull that seal completely out over that bulkhead the best you can, because that will keep the water from intrusion on the front of the cab section. So now we got that. So you want the seal to be pushed out. You don't want it tucked up underneath. So we got that guy. We are good to go there. Now the next thing we need to do is super simple. We wanna pull the tunnel cover open and make sure that that clip is grabbing that little bracket there. And it is on both sides, I already checked it. And then we just wanna pull everything out. And what I like about this is every section that you roll out clips in. So you don't have the middle of your tunnel cover loose with only attachment points at the end and the front. Every panel on here attaches to the rail. So let's pull this section out. Drop that down and there we go. Our tunnel cover is almost fully installed, but it is wide open. It's awesome, this looks Pretty sweet on this truck. So now the next thing we're gonna do is hop off the truck, close the tailgate, make sure we have the right clearances here. And then we're gonna go back in and fold this up and then we'll mount those clips up on top of the cab so that when we want to, we can roll this guy and clip them in. So let's get to closing the tailgate, check our clearances here, and then I'll show you how to mount that, um, that bracket up on the front. Uh, now it's pouring. All right, let's check the clearances. All right, so let's go ahead and close it. Take our tailgate and everything seals nicely. Looking good. That is one low profile tunnel cover too. All right. So now that we know that everything fits right and everything is situated where it needs to go, let's go ahead and fold this guy up and start mounting the top of the cab bracket so that we can fold this up, clip it in and drive with it open if we need to. Let's do it. Okay, before we could take the whole tunnel cover itself and fold it up against the cab, one thing we need to do is there are elastic bands on both sides. We need to make sure that those elastic bands, I do this one-handed, look at that. Those elastic bands are clipped into these little plastic clips and there's one on each side. So go ahead and do that and that's what keeps the panels from unfolding 
when you lift it up. So that keeps the bottom of the panels pulled in tight. So then from there, let's see if I can do this one handed. So that is, I'll just gently put it there. So that is the tunnel cover completely folded up. So the next thing we're gonna do before we go ahead and mount that stuff on the top of the cab, we wanna take our safety clips here and clip those right into the track. That's just in case anything fails, this guy's holding on and it's not gonna fly off your truck. You do the same thing on this side, just basically clip that right to the rail. And now we're good on that one. So next thing we wanna do is get this guy out of the way. Um, and we're gonna end up mounting, let's grab him. We're gonna end up mounting these clips on the top of the truck. So basically it's gonna go somewhere along there. And these are the brackets that will attach to that. So we're gonna need to do some adjustment to make sure it's straight and then to locate this guy. And once we do, we'll wipe everything off, stick it on, and then it'll be good to go. So we're gonna need to get an Allen key to move this guy out of the way. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna move that bracket in and we're basically gonna locate this guy somewhere, probably put it right about there, um, but we'll figure that one out. And ultimately what you wanna do is make sure you have at least one inch of clearance from the back of your truck. So that will be the guide of dictating you where you end up on this stuff. So let's get everything situated here and I'll show you how to install these guys and what our measurements end up being. So I went ahead and cleaned the whole top of the cab really good. Then I wiped everything down with isopropyl alcohol because ultimately we're gonna adhere this guy to the top of the cab. Um, there is a magnet in there, so you gotta be careful because that magnet's gonna wanna grab this bracket. So I went ahead and loosened up this bracket and basically what I tried to do is make it as perpendicular as possible. I wanted this bracket to go straight into that anchor. I didn't want it to torque any which direction. Then you can move this guy around. It's just basically popped in that channel and that's what holds the bracket in when you're not driving with the tunnel cover in the upright position. So AgriCover recommends a minimum of one inch from your cab. I just took a piece of, or a, a roll of inch and a half painter's tape and use that as my spacer. So I just space that off my third brake light. That'll give me plenty of room. So that will help me with locating these guys. So now that I have both of them basically perpendicular, let's go over to this side over here. Same thing, relatively perpendicular. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this down and then I will pull off the backing on there and stick that. And what they say is drive with your tunnel cover down for 48 hours, give those guys time to cure and fully adhere, but also give the tunnel cover time to, to conform to your bed. So I'm gonna pull the backing off of both these guys now that they're on a clean surface, stick them down, and then we're good with that. We'll just fold everything up. And then once it stops raining outside, we'll take a look at what this bed cover looks like and all of the functions that it does and get a really good um, view of it in daylight. All right, so let's close out the video. So here is the tunnel cover completely installed. So uh, we got some better weather today so we can finally take a look at everything. So the cover itself sits next to flush on the back of the truck. It looks awesome. So it sits right up on top of the tailgate. When you open up the tailgate, uh, drops just a little bit. So you know that when it drops a little bit, it's sealing pretty nicely on there. Then as far as opening it, you can open it from either side. So you just pull this cord here, lift up the first latch, and what I like about this guy is, let's hop up in it, is all sides or every panel requires you to pull that cable. And what I like about that is that keeps the middle of the tunnel cover situated. So when you're driving down, you're not gonna hear the middle of the, the tunnel cover rattling around like other covers that don't latch on every panel. So if we wanna open up this one, one-handed, let's go ahead and flip that down. Then if we wanted to take the stance cover itself and flip it up against the tailgate, there's two things we need to do. One, we need to take these bungee cords here. Let's do this, let's try to do this one-handed. And those bungee cords latch around these plastic clips here. And we'll take this one over here and do the same thing. And what that does is it holds the bottom of the tunnel cover in. And then all you gotta do whoop, is again, unlatch, lift the guy up. And then we'll take our clips, because remember we installed the little anchor points up on top of the tunnel, or up on top of the cab, and we'll situate that guy down there. Pop this guy out, and it's a magnet, so it holds it nice in place. And there you go. So the tunnel cover is completely installed. So let's hop down and take a look at what it looks like uh, from the ground. All right, so there is the tunnel cover 
in the upright position. Again, you wanna leave a minimum of one inch from the cab. I just took that inch and a half or two inch or whatever roll of painter's tape I had, and I used that to basically as my spacer and then just install the anchor points up on top of the cab to give me that space. But now that opens up the entire bed. What does it eat up? Maybe an inch? Barely eats up any of it. So now that when my kids wanna take their four wheelers places, we could take those four wheelers, push them as far forward in the bed as possible. I'm not eating up the rest of the bed. And then we could pack all our cargo around it. So awesome. So that is how the Lomax stance is installed and that is how it works. So let's get it unfolded here one more time and call it a video. All right, to unfold it, we're just gonna reverse the steps. So we're gonna take this guy, put him away. We're gonna take him, clip him down. And then we're just gonna drop that. Everything's gonna clip in. Remember, you wanna undo these bungee cords there. Undo that guy. And then one-handed, we can take things. Every panel clips down. And there you go. So that is how you install the Lomax Stance tunnel cover on the 2019 and newer Ram trucks. The process is probably very similar on pretty much every truck model. But again, the reason I went with this one, um, nice flush look to it, but also because it folds up against the cab. And I know this one, this cover will work perfectly with the Adirac Pro Series bed rack that I have. Bed rack rails are still installed. They provide plenty of clearance while still letting the tunnel cover seal. So we are in good shape. Anyways, with that said, that is the Lomax Stance tunnel cover. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.